The following WXE matchup was brought to you by Larry Flint's Hustler Club Detroit, located right off I-75 and Outer Drive. Another, another true fighter stepping into the cage right here. And uh, Antoine had a great showing last time around. Right. Oh, snap. Here we go. Hey, this is a fight, gentlemen. We yeah. have a fight on our hands. It's a big time fight. Yeah, these cats are both high end, knocking on the door for the 155 belt. I mean, it's, it's salty, I must say this. Brandon Noble is coming off of one of the nastiest knockouts in a long time. He knocked out my older brother. Yeah, and, and he knocked him out with like an exclamation point. And Rick's never been knocked out. Rick's never been gay. He's like, to knock my brother out? Yeah, I remember your brother getting punched in the face like a thousand times and still plugging. Yeah. I think he's getting old. Could be. Yeah. Could be. No, but uh, Noble looked extremely impressive in that performance, and uh, he looked renewed. He yeah. did. Uh, he's scary, he's, he's with MTT now. That was his per first performance at MTT, and it shows. It really does, you know. And I've been telling Noble, yeah, the most, he has some great potential, but you need the right team. Yeah, and you he, do. And he was like how I was. He was very committed to his uncle's gym at UJK, like how I was committed at Courageous. And um, you, you got to be careful though, because at the end of the day, who are you committing to? You. And your career, yeah. and, and and the right decision has to be to be where you, where you will get better. You know, my, my ultimate decision why to switch gyms. It was uh, I sat down, you know, with Tanya, and I was like, you know, you know, where where do we want? I say we, you know, as in like, yeah. as a family, want my career to be in a couple years from now. Do I want to be doing local shows like I'm doing now, or do I want to fight in USC making money? And we both agreed that it's time for me to make the jump make the switch and do things that's necessary for me to make it because if I'm going to make it I'm going to make it now yep so um, I decided to do it now and that was it yep that was, yeah. a, that was a deciding factor you know I would say that us on the outside would say that that was overdue but uh, hey you know right call you know a little T runs deep in my veins so there's an awful lot of loyalty and I, I've been plenty guilty of that myself and staying at places maybe I shouldn't have been uh, for, for the wrong reasons. But at the end of the day, there's something to be said about being loyal. Well, you know, the thing was like, Josh left. You know, Josh is one of my best friends. Yeah. So, you know, I he was one of my main training partners, you know, like if he's not there, why am I gonna be there? Who's gonna grind you? Yeah, it's like, you know, who, who's gonna work out with me? So I was like, Josh is like, well, I'm leaving too. I was like, well then, I'm I'm right behind you then because I've been thinking about it for a while then yeah. I made a decision and it's time to go yep so. yeah there's only so many teams right now in Michigan by the way I don't know if you've seen this and I know that they're not here tonight but uh, Jackton Tan making a big big move right now opening up uh, their own completely owned gym uh, some nice backing with James Lee Corey Connor coming back from Philly training um, I actually think that they're going to be a nice little force to be reckoned with yeah, you could be right, Harley, you know, and the, the hat styles of the cuppies, you know, they got their own thing, they got their own style. Yep. Definitely their own, uh, yeah. old persona, that's for sure. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Warrior City Games Fight for introductions. The following contest is being brought to you by Larry Flint's Hustle Club of Detroit, Michigan. Home of our official after party tomorrow night, located at I-75, just off of our drive. Introducing your fighters. First, fighter to my left. Tonight, he is out of the blue corner. 28, 5 feet, 11 inches tall. He weighs in at 154 pounds. Who back up in destruction? He probably puts his 13 and 4 record on the line here tonight. On behalf of 22 and the two fighter fight team.
He has a dead point. When you are cross, trip the top team, it goes loose at 5 feet 10 to fall. Weighing 138 pounds. A free stop for the special ups. But he is a person. He's the kind of kid that can never really get a title fight, it seems like, because it's like, you know, thinking about his brain of people, uh, they sleep on his wrestling because uh, he has such an effective stand-up. Yeah. But he has a phenomenal wrestling. He was a state place in wrestling, too, uh, as far as I remember. Yeah, a little bit of judo background, too, with his family. Yeah, really good judo background, yep. actually. Yep. He's opened up the striking him, over that. in his career, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bob Noble, obviously, got some judo, definitely. Uh, these guys are testing the space here, seeing what space they can occupy. And, and Blasting uh, games is like a, a ball of lightning, man. This is where Bre he does not want to be with Brandon. Yeah, no, clinch game is not going to go the right way for, for uh, Francis. There, oh, <laughs> beautiful throw. What, yeah. what do you call that in judo? Did you see that? Did you miss it? It's a beat down. <laughs> Did you miss it? No. Oh. I, I glanced, but no, that was e a nice little... e pawn beatdown. Yeah, that was definitely an e pawn. <laughs> nice cage awareness, you pulling him away from the words. cage. Imagine if we had elbows here. Could be a, a very short night. Like, like, that'd be a short night against any wrestler. I mean, any, anybody who does not know how to wrestle against a wrestler is a bad night. Beautiful yeah. pinning of oh, the yeah, arm yeah. there. And Brandon with his heavy hips. Brandon is extremely heavy hips. Yeah, you're not going to get him off of you unless you're, like, really... Catching an opportunity. Looking for a key lock. He has a key lock, it looks like. Yeah, and Antoine's trying to run the cage, but this is one of the problems when you watch a lot of places that don't train in cages. They don't know how to run it. They push off against it rather than running it all the way across. Well, it's kind of how to run against something that doesn't move. Yeah, true. Brandon was not moving at that point. That's a big hips. Looking for that guillotine. Yeah, that's just I think trouble. he's got it. He does got it. He's got it. Yeah. I think that's the fight, guys. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get in between here. I Bra think Brandy, Brandy needs to curl his hands under and pop that to his hip, and he's good. Oh, he switched. Wow. You know, that looks super deep, man. I, I, I can't believe he gave up on it. Yeah, uh, you know, that guillotine looked very deep, but, I mean, he obviously felt like he didn't have any transition. Yeah, and then to be honest with you, if you don't feel you have it, it's better to give it up than to burn out. Yeah, don't blow, you know, don't blow your wad and uh, in the process of trying to finish something that you nice feel. Nice switch. Uh, oh. There's that wrestling that you were talking about, Drew. Yes, indeed. He has an arm pinch. He switched to a double step out to the back. Beautiful. Chop that knee, chop that knee. Catch wrestling right there. That's I'm real good. So I'm kind of coaching here. It's, <laughs> it, it, it's a teammate, too, so <laughs> There he goes. We need to around. turn off uh, Drew's. Can we turn off Drew's mic for this one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Whenever MTT guys are fighting, we're going to turn off his mic. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty dominant round, though. Yeah, beautiful round. And, hey, how about welcome back Darren Crookshank, you know? He did that tour, you know, for the troops. Welcome back, Darren. How many zombies did he kill? That's what I want to know. I don't know. He told me that they wouldn't let him shoot any big guns. I was He's like, a gun guy, too. He, lo he loves guns. I know he does. You know what? In Sweden, it's mandatory for you to do military time uh, as a male. You do 6 to 24 months. I did 18 months, and that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play with the guns. I'm not so sure that we should have in Amer uh, you know, in our... See, over in America... We don't, that nobody classifies as fun. I like, never hear anybody say it's fun. <laughs> no, but, but no. you. But we're that, always at war with somebody. I know. I mean, yeah, well, Sweden is neutral. We don't have a lot of wars. 
and nobody really has guns at their house. But uh, the military, you get to play with them, which makes it fun. That is cool, though. But I think you make an interesting point, not to get political really quickly, but the idea of mandatory military service, if you know that everybody has to serve, I think it makes citizens far more... Problem is here, you can't... Whoa, oh, a little... Oh, little that was a little dirty. He kind of touched gloves and came out swinging together. I don't know if he meant that, but uh, he's obviously... I, I'm not so sure about this... Uh, if you know you have to serve, you're going to pay attention to foreign policy a little closer. Yes, you yeah. will. Yes, you, and being Swedish, you know, having Russians like one country away from you, uh, you know, only Finland is in between. Oh, oh no. no. Right to the mouth. Oh, Beautiful. Is bad. I don't know how, you know, Antoine is a great athlete. I don't know if that's going to help here. Hey, may we add though that uh, that Antoine is probably the only person to fill his uh, card out right. Yeah, I know. Like the only person to fill it out right, ever that I've ever seen. It's like hats <laughs> off Antoine on that. Nice they, ground and pound from Brandon. Oh, I think, uh, that was deep. Quick. Hey, fans at home watching, that's how you soften people up. Exactly how Brandon's did. He made Got it. Him. Oh, up. that's done. It, it's that's over. It. It's all she wrote, man. No, no, he's fighting. Uh, yeah, uh, so the hand, far. The hand's ready. The hand. The hand's ready. Not wow, Antoine is fighting this. Yeah, he man. is. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That we, was amazing. We have a fight. We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, we have a resistance. Hey, the, angle, this, the angle is a little off. Hey, if this fight goes to uh, judges again, we might see us on our feet again. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, Antoine is definitely relentless as far as now. He's there's no quit in him, but he's got to figure out a way to not crash Brandon. Every time they stand up, he crashes, and and get and ends up in 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 you know Brandon where Brandon wants to be. This is. You know, Noble's doing a, a, a great job just grinding this out, but you know, blasting games. Surviving. The thing with uh, there's something oh, to surviving, but uh, it only works. Surviving only works if your opponent does not have the conditioning that you have. I have a feeling Brandon can go all three rounds. Yeah, easy. he's in good shape. He's ready for five. The kid is a the kid is a monster, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. All you kids watching. One of the things that you got to learn, when you have a good grappler on the other side uh, as your opponent, don't crash him with your striking. <laughs> learn how to stay on the outside and strike and use angles to get off from their grappling. Especially somebody who's like a judoka like Brandon. Judo and wrestling, yeah. yeah but I mean, you don't want to give him clinch. That's just not good. You don't want to give a wrestler a clinch, but you definitely don't want somebody who knows judo yeah. a clinch. Like, I might play with it and see where I go. Yeah. <laughs> Antoine looks like the fresher fighter in this right here, though. Yeah, Brandon is breathing pretty heavy. I would like to see an ice pack on his back right here. Bringing his heart rate down, bringing his breathing down. Yeah, he's breathing hard and, you know, surprisingly, because it looks like, you know, you would think, considering what happened, that uh, Antoine would be the tired, more tired fighter, but uh, he looks Antoine fresh, is man. very slow. He's just about to start the fight. Antoine has a lot of title fights on the go, though. Here we go again. Let's see if uh, Antoine can learn from his mistakes or if he's going to crash in again. I've never seen Brandon Noble ever knocked out, so I don't see that ever happening. I don't see Antoine possibly submitting because Brandon is hard to submit. Yeah. But, I mean, I've seen Brandon's doing smart. He's, he's keeping it slow. Antoine a little bit better this time, not crashing until right now. Stepping off again. This is That's the way he wants to fight. 
But I think that's better for Brandon. I, I, I think right now would be the time for Anton to crash. The fact that Brandon is tired. He'll he'll get taken down again, though. But it make Brandon, I don't know. I mean, it's, it it's risk bet. reward. Yeah. I think, I think that'd be his best bet to crash that and then fight. Nice shot. Yeah, this would have been a good strategy round one. Round yeah. three, he probably has yeah, to take his chance. Yeah, first two rounds he should have did, but now he needs to crash because Brandon is tired and he needs to, you know, make that grappler wear himself out even more and then, then finish, you know. But then I'm also talking about five minute rounds here, I'm thinking. But I'm thinking, yeah, you know, we are Brandon's three Brandon's breathing here. pretty heavy right now. Oi! Yeah, right. That's not I, happening. This is exactly what he wouldn't want, didn't want to do, though. I would like to see some knees of the body right here. I, and he just definitely lost the fight on that one. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to get back out of here. And no. this is in Brandon's corner, so. Yeah. And then, what a corner. Cody Stamen, Jason Fisher, and Darren Kershank. That's easy to top three pros in Michigan. I mean. Cody's got a nice little title fight coming up, uh, I believe, the 21st, oh, right? Oh, him and Ruben? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, like, I rarely ever get excited about going to stuff, but, like, I cannot, I really got to see I won't that. even be there. Yeah, that's that's a sin. Well, well, I'm boxing out in Columbus that night. That's Beautiful. awesome for you, but, like, holy smokes, I can't wait to see that fight. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, brother. <laughs> I need money. Antoine get back up again, which he hasn't been able and to do. Cody the other understands that, so oh, I'm cool with that. Yeah, this has just been high pace. I mean, Noble's done a great job just basically being like a wet blanket on Antoine, and Antoine's just trying to create some distance. And uh, There's got to be none but a minute left. I still got to say Antoine needs to separate and throw. This beautiful, is not a beautiful. Fight. Yeah. Relentless on that wizard whip. Relentless, yep. man. Uh, you, you can't let a judo, a judoka get that kind of uh, handles on you. No, especially not even a wrestler because the wrestlers were relentless with that wizard. Yeah. You know, and we'll crank that shoulder all night. So, and Brandon is the both of both worlds, so. Yeah, right now Antoine needs to run that cage all the way around like a rainbow. That's the only way he's going to get out of this position. I don't see it going any other way. It's, it's a fight. Yeah, I would I would agree. And this is, should be another 30-27. I agree 30-27, but. Uh... We've been surprised before. <laughs> your calendars fight fans warrior extreme returns to the southgate civic center for wxc 51 friday july 25th advanced tickets now available by going to TicketRiver.com and search for wxc 51 come out and watch thomas fedoli as he faces daryl the hitman humphrey for the wxc flyweight championship advanced tickets now available by going to TicketRiver.com and search for wxc 51 See you cage side. Warrior Extreme would like to thank all of our sponsors for making WXC50 a success. 
Larry Flint's Hustler Club of Detroit, home of the official WXC After Party. Located at I-75 and Outer Drive, Hydro City Garden Supply. For all your indoor gardening needs, go to hydrocityusa.com. De Silva's Pawn Shop, located at 16096 Eureka Road in Southgate, Michigan. And GNC of Down River. Stop in for great discounts on nutritional supplements and more in Brownstown, Southgate, Allen Park, and Lincoln Park. GNC. Live well.